Hey guys, I'm back. I'm gonna do a couple division strategies. I actually picked one of the problems out of your NTI work. So um, we're gonna do 44 divided by two and we're gonna do it several different ways. So the first way we're gonna do it is the standard algorithm. And so we'll do 44 under the bracket, put our two out here, all right? So you can help yourself remember the steps of the standard algorithm by writing D, M, S, B. Does McDonald sell burgers? Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Pretty simple, I'll go through the steps here. So two, this is our divisor. This is our dividend. We're doing 44 divided into two equal groups. So how many times does two go into four? Well, you know that it will go in twice. So we put a two here, that's our divide part. Now we're gonna multiply. Two times two is four. Now we're gonna subtract, that's the S. We've got zero. B for bring down, we're gonna bring down our four. How many twos go into four? Well, two goes into four, two times just like we said, and we're finished. So 44 divided by two is 22. Now, if that strategy is not helping you, you don't like that strategy, you can do this. 44 divided by two. Let's turn it into a multiplication sentence because remember division is just multiplication backwards. That's all that is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this around. We're gonna do blank times two equals 44. Okay, so what number times two would equal 44? Well, we know our answer, but let's pretend like we don't know our answer. So how many twos would go into 44? Well, you could skip count to figure that out. You could literally just skip count by twos until you hit 44. Or you could think, well, I know that two times 20 equals 40, right? So that's 20. And I, knew I would need two more twos for that four in the one place. So I can see two times 20 is 40, two times two is four, so I would need 22 twos to equal 44, right? So there's another strategy. Um, a picture is also a strategy that you can use. I'm gonna get rid of this paper real quick so that you can continue to see. So we've got our problem, 44 divided by two, right? So I could turn this into a real life uh, situation. I have two people that are gonna share 44 cookies. So I'm gonna put a plate here and a plate here. Well, I've got 44 cookies. Well, 44 is an even number, right? Okay, so that helps me know that each person's gonna get an equal amount. I'm not gonna have any left over. Um, I could just start passing out cookies one at a time, one, two, three, four, until I get rid of all 44 cookies, but that wouldn't really be a very efficient way to do it if I'm gonna use a picture strategy. It would work much better if I think of larger chunks of cookies that I know I could give to each person. Well, I could take my number 44 and I could decompose it. I can break it apart. I've got a 40 and a four. Well, if I take 40 and I split it into two equal groups, that's 20 and 20, right? So my 40 is taken care of. I've got four cookies left. Well, how many cookies can I give each person if I have four? Well, I can decompose my four again, right? And I can break it apart into two equal groups, two and two, and give each person two more cookies. So I know that 44 divided by two equals 22, and that's a picture strategy, okay? You can use that strategy or any of the other strategies and apply it to any of those other division problems you have today. Some of those are going to have remainders, okay? All right, talk to you later, bye.